Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back, <laughs> mister. <laughs> We're back here, uh, back from the commercial break. Thank you for sticking with us through that. We have our guest host today, Mr. Deo Forteza. If you want to hire him for a job. You know where to find him Word. on his website. Where's my stuff? Um, as he said before the break, uh, if you need to get an acting reel done or a dance video <laughs> done, you can there call him. Go. But Again. here's the flip side of that. If you want to do something newsy in a green screen, uh, then OC Digital is the place to go. Yes. For yeah. they have, where I go. That's where we're shooting right now, and their facilities are phenomenal. So, um, yeah, this is the place to go. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway... Um, we're going to get into tech talk. And Avi, you have some stuff about Apple this week. Yes, I do. But I thought you wanted to bring some uh, about the two young ladies that joined our team. Uh, oh, you want to do that right now? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. We can do that. And then we'll go. Oh, well, we'll okay. 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 We'll get it. We'll, okay. Uh, Everybody calm around. down. <laughs> Everybody calm down for a second. So we have two new members of our plug-in family here they uh, also work for the studio OC digital studio where we film plug in every week um and they are claudia and miara sierra Ramsey, or miara. yeah it's like sierra but with an m miara uh they join our team they are doing our uh, marketing and social media and social media and they are fantastic girls if you want to be on the show or film a show here or any you want anything to do with either Plugged In or OC Digital Studio, then you call, speak to one of them, and they'll get you taken care of. Or they might be calling you. Or Yeah. Ooh. Watch yes. out because oh. they have bad attitudes. And when they call, <laughs> oh, man. you don't want to Answer the you. phone. Yeah. You better call first. Oh, That's okay. what he's saying. <laughs> it's like your mom. Street lights are on. You better call one of these two girls. <laughs> I'm scared. Well, well, well. <laughs> so Apple. Back to the news. Yes. Back to the news. Back to the tech news. Tech news. Well, Apple uh, just released on Monday, released Yosemite. Mm -hmm. And uh, the problem is that uh, everybody that tried it so far, uh, mixed reviews, and it takes forever to download. Actually, I tried <laughs> it on my uh, Mac, and it's gone on three days, and we're still at 870 oh. mag from 5.5 gigabytes. So I think I have another two weeks to yeah. finish. <laughs> well, I downloaded it the first day I saw it available, and it downloaded. I had to do it overnight, but it was ready to well, go. You're but a lucky dude. <laughs> there are some things that kind of bother me about it, though, too. Like you used to be able to hit the uh, the Apple shit or Apple um, space bar, <laughs> and it would bring up Apple shit. <laughs> You'd be able to bring up the Apple space bar, and it bring up the search. Yeah. It used to be up in the right-hand corner, so it was out of the way. Now yeah. it pops up right in the middle of the screen. Ooh. Yeah, I, I looked some of the reviews Yikes. on Apple, and there's uh, some negative reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, now on to the next, uh, iOS been updated to 8.1, and to fix some of the issues from the 8 and 8.0, 8.01. Uh, so uh, time to download. It was released on Monday. Mm -hmm. Can they just release 8.0? 8.01. Uh, yeah, but, but didn't is, they just do 8.0? <laughs> yeah, because one, well, they released the first uh, release after they released the iPhone 6, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody was screaming and hollering because they cut their data and their uh, wireless. So they updated with a fix data. that they have to take <laughs> roll back and re update it again. So I guess uh, Mr. Job is not there watching everything. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. too bad. Yeah. The. Other news, uh, Microsoft, you know, the CEO of Microsoft said for the ladies, if they want raise to wait for karma, <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't think he waited for karma to get his raise and his bonuses, mm -hmm. but they are releasing a new watch and they are trying to keep play catch up to Samsung as well as, uh, uh Apple, uh, their watch is going to be heart monitoring, tracking monitor and all this. So and a copy, huh? a copy. Probably, and a, they are trying to rush it before the holidays. A oh, yeah, because they have to keep up. <laughs> a copy of a copy. I mean, that's what we're getting to, and that's the problem with they had to re-release the iOS yeah. 8.0.1 because then. everybody's just rushing to get crap out. Now, I remember a day when Apple used to release something, and it was just solid. Yeah. yeah. Now everyone's kind of falling into the same category. It's just well, that's just, again, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, CEO, what's his name? Uh, Bill Gates. Microsoft, Bill Gates is no longer like running the company. Yeah. <laughs> Another uh, Steve Job was uh, like uh, he did it out mm -hmm. of love, not out of uh, money. And these people are probably doing it just okay. What's well, the next course. quarter? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's Another it. problem I see you wrote down with Apple is that Bank of America with Apple Pay. Oh something yeah. Something going on oh, there. Yeah. Boop. Hey. 
you pay <laughs> once, they charge you twice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, so much for that. Yeah. But anyway, they're <laughs> trying to fix it and refund accounts. the money. They're not keeping it. Yeah. So probably they might keep it for to pay yeah. their fines yeah. from the mortgage. Good luck with that. See, be, that's <laughs> why you become an actor, so you're so... Yeah cheap and you don't have money for them to double charge you yeah then uh, if you if you buy something they charge you double then they say oh you're over under overcharged yeah, 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 for exactly. the charge of the charging fee exactly yeah, okay. yeah then, and your refund isn't enough to even cover your your because the fines yeah. and the fees that they yeah charge yeah you. so right. before you hit this next one yeah. i think i know what you're going to talk about okay and right next to you is sitting a huge fan of back to the future oh okay so oh, yeah. tra tread lightly my friend all right okay <laughs> well your dream comes true you can own your own board and float yes. with it as you wish i just need yeah. square footage of copper <laughs> <laughs> that's it yeah <laughs> that's it and uh actually if you are a kickstarter and you give them ten thousand dollars once they release it and they are hoping in 2015 they will give you the board and the copper to lay it down so you can float with how it. much because yes. i know people steal copper out of homes yeah. right now so how much yeah. do you think how much copper do you you have like a this size of the table copper? well that no uh, probably it's about <laughs> three feet so you can just float and yeah, stand yeah. there like oh how cool am i i'm in the middle of my room not moving ten thousand yeah, dollars but i'm hovering 300 bucks they'll give you just the like the actual engine yeah so you can just push it around yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it yeah. But, but their goal is ultimately to make like skating board parks and put them in and you mm -hmm. can go and rent up equipment and start floating from place to place. Does it have to be copper? Or can it be any? Uh, it has to be, I think, the copper to, uh, because or it's aluminum. all electric, yeah. Or, yeah. or aluminum? Yeah. yeah. Look who did research. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> he's looking to buy one, Sabe or he sent them, <laughs> he already sent them the $10,000 probably, waiting for the first. Uh, yeah, I, I somehow have a feeling Deo did not spend $10,000 <laughs> oh, on a hoverboard. Oh, definitely. I got double charged from Bofa <laughs> <laughs> buying one with Apple. 20 grand, yay! <laughs> yes, and uh, I don't know if you mentioned about Canon uh, releasing the C100. Actually, that was what we were going to get into oh, next. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I jumped the gun on this. That's okay, though, because it's a good <laughs> segue. Right. Way better than... I don't know if anyone has seen our first show. <laughs> Terrible segues. Uh, Worst segues ever. Yeah. Somehow, I think we went from like mass murder to tech news or something. It was terrible. So <laughs> welcome to the new segues, people. Um, so what I want to get into now, Norm, now in the, is the time of the show when normally we would get into our product review. Uh, we've been reviewing Aperture the last few weeks. Great, yep. great, great products from them. Um, but mm -hmm. with three guys sitting here who are all pretty technically savvy when it comes to cameras and, and, and uh, studio heavy duty stuff shooting equipment yeah. um, not shooting guns like with mr uh, oh yeah munging not yeah. shooting with uh, <laughs> with light yeah 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 um i thought it would be a good time to for us to get into some of the truths and myths that are out there with with some of the cameras on the market right now and uh, mm -hmm. some of the things that are floating around because it seems like consumers as of late are just hit with a barrage of you got to have one that shoots 4k internal 10 yeah. bit um you know slow motion which is always a great yeah. feature uh stuff like that so i figure while we're here we'll get uh deo's thoughts on it we'll get your thoughts on it we'll get my thoughts on it and okay. uh, we'll figure it out we'll so the first thing thoughts on it too yeah we can get carl's thoughts <laughs> yeah carl <laughs> Hop in there, buddy. Um, so first, Canon just released a C100 Mark II. Okay. Uh, from what I've heard, it doesn't have much over the first one other than a few small minor features. Like I think it shoots 1080 at 60p now. And they put internal mic. And in they it. put an internal mic, which, oh, well, that's great because the internal uh, mics are always the best. <laughs> um, and uh, a couple other small tweaks, like you don't have to use the grip on the side anymore to control oh, the camera. Okay. And it has some kind of a screen, OLED screen that yeah. swivels. Yeah, okay. uh, also useless in filmmaking. <laughs> Especially so, if you are outdoors. <laughs> yeah, um, and in, in reading the article about that, uh, I saw there were a lot of negative comments, and there are a few people that were like, oh, I want to sell my C100 to get the this Mark II. Yeah. Um, and it just got me to thinking about, so some of the main cameras, we've we've had this discussion before with people who come yeah. into the office, yeah. um, like the Panasonic GH4. Yes. And it's just, everybody wants it because it shoots internal 4K. Mm -hmm. um, is it that big of a deal right now? I, I don't, I think for right now 4K is the same as 3D TVs were. It's useless. 
uh, up to now, uh, there is we we said we covered it last yeah, time. Yeah. That 4K is fine and dandy. It has some good features. If you are a, like a creator of cinematography, it gives you more information on the subject, so you can edit it. And uh, l when you lower resol uh, do it uh, on a lower resolution, mm -hmm. still it's good quality. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's get into that t tip real quick. Yes. So that's what I've heard. So people say, oh, you got to get the GH4, the new Sony yeah. a a A7S, yeah. which I actually looked at uh, for us to use. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's got some, you know, all these cameras have their quirks. Yeah. Like the A7S in order to, we like to do manual white balancing. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. We're, cause especially at an event. Well, um, and you have to actually flip the camera out of video mode to adjust. To yeah, and to then adjust. go back into yeah. recording. Yeah, and you can't. I mean, you just can't have that. But you know what? In every technology, uh, you start when you get it. The first uh, stuff mm -hmm. you get, it's always uh, not the perfect uh, product, and the companies need to sell some of it so yeah. they can recoup at least the investment. <laughs> Obviously. And there's a lot of uh, enthusiasts. I mean, it's the same with the iPhone. You, They sat two weeks just to get it and you could have walked mm -hmm. into any store and got it. <laughs> Matter of fact, yeah. uh, and this one, <laughs> yeah, one day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so all these people that sat in the store, in front of the store for two, mm -hmm. three weeks, that's the same people that they will go, oh, new camera, let me yeah. get it. And mm -hmm. then to find the usage of it, it's limited or yeah. the specs on it, it, it's not mm -hmm. as great or it's still in development yeah or new firmware will be added mm -hmm. or wait for the firmware. yeah well back to your point about the using 4k so you can upscale yeah. well I just saw a test yesterday as a matter of fact I watch a video mm -hmm. I watched a video and in the video it showed the 5d mark 3 mm -hmm. shooting in raw mm -hmm. 1080p yes and they scaled it 300 times picture was phenomenal Jeez. scale like that <laughs> Yeah. So 4K to me, um, I mean, it's oh, we're saturating the market with this, and that's how we're getting a lot of that's people unnecessary. who they yes, oh, so necessary. <laughs> no, um, but the, it's saturating the market with with really these people who think, oh, I'm a filmmaker. Now. Yeah, yeah, and they think that once they have the 4K, it's uh, easy yeah. uh, glide from there. They don't realize that the hardware that they want to yeah. put the so, uh, the the film on it and clips mm -hmm. they. It, it needs yeah. a horsepower, the video card, even to realize what you're shooting. Yeah. But uh, again, it's uh, an education process, and most mm -hmm. of them are doing because my neighbor or my yeah, friend said. Yeah, exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, I've seen it over and over, even with the 3D. I had friends of mine, oh, I just bought a 3D. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, big deal. Yeah. And I went to a couple of the shows, and I see 3D and people standing in line. But yet, when you got it home, are you going to sit like an idiot with uh, goggles on <laughs> for three hours or four hours to see a show? Avi might, because he loves those sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> These are not goggles yeah. or glasses. Well, I think, it's I think the point I'm, I'm really getting to is that if you want the real scoop on these things, I think we're a pretty good unbiased yeah. source. And also, I like to get it out there, and I, I finally have a platform to say it on my own. And Dale knows this. It's what? not the sh it's not the equipment. It's the what? Yeah, it's the equipment. <laughs> 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 it's the operator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the equipment. I mean, it's the more expensive equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I seen things were done with a with a iPhone uh, and pocket cameras mm -hmm. yeah. with the professional guy that you couldn't tell even. Uh, yeah, you we, think it's yeah. red. There was a well, guy who did a same day edit for a wedding. Jason like McBanua. Nokia phone. Yeah. On a Nokia phone. I will yeah. say Nokia. this though about 3D. You. That's the only way to watch Gravity. There's yeah. no other <laughs> yeah. way to watch Gravity. <laughs> that's true. Except that's on true. 3D. That's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, there's a company made like a multi-million dollar uh, commercial on an iPhone with the stabilizer and mm -hmm. you couldn't tell the difference if that it was a, a red uh, the you know the hollywood red camera that thirty thousand yeah. dollars or uh, an iphone and yeah it was a bunch the of iPhone plugins 5. you could throw on to make it look even more professional yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> plugins they, yeah plugins oh they can use plugins <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um and you know for those of you listening out there we're putting together a thing with i a giveaway and you yeah. can get one of those stabilizers yeah, and make a multi-million dollar commercial oh. with three just accesses. a... Three axes. So you can three be axis. professional without yeah. being professional. A three axis gimbal, electronically controlled stabilizer for the iPhone. Yeah. They're incredible. So for those you of you tuning in... You can make all the motion features uh -huh. uh, you want yeah. with an iPhone and look like a, exactly. a Hollywood uh, producer. Exactly. Yeah. So if you want to win one of those, you can go to at PluginPod on Instagram. You can find out our... Uh, you 
plug in pod at plug in pod. Yeah. And then you say, like us, share our picture and you hashtag. I can plug in. Yep. Boom. It's very Boom. simple. Nothing to buy, nothing to, to go out and wait for, for mm -hmm. six days. Yeah. Just go so, on your iPhone. Go there, share the picture, like our Instagram or any of our social medias and tag us in the shared picture at, I, with hashtag I can plug in. That's right. it. Dang. All right. We're going to go to a commercial break. And we'll come back. We'll finish point. up our show with our guest host, Deo Forteza and um, then you guys don't have to listen Me to us anymore. Mr. Kyle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys. Bofa. Ahomes.com, the virtually better way to buy or sell your home. Let's face it, if there were a better, cheaper way to buy or sell your home, you'd do it, right? Well, now there is. eHomes.com. Now you can list homes, view homes, make an offer, even check out the neighborhood right from your computer. You get superior service if you're buying and lower commissions if you're selling. And there are real people to talk to by phone or stop by one of our offices. eHomes.com, the virtually better way. In today's high-priced real estate market, the traditional broker's commissions are just too high. At eHomes.com, we not only dramatically reduce commission fees to the seller, we pay buyer's fees that can amount to thousands of dollars. Visit our website or see us in person to find out more. Remember, that's eHomes, where the S stands for service, savings, and satisfaction. eHomes.com, the virtually better way to buy or sell your home. eHomes.com.